constant innovation, unparalleled education, groundbreaking global business education you'll find only at Oxford College of Business. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. The Vatte Gamapiti Gedra Raj Mahavihare was renovated and the temple was returned to the Mahasangha last evening under the patronage of Prime Minister Ranil Vikram Singha. The occasion was also attended by Anunayaka of the Askiri chapter, Most Venerable Anumadwe Dhammadasi Thera. For a long period, we had the misfortune of lacking a national policy which could be accepted by any government. The President is expectant of forming an SLFP government in the future while the Prime Minister expects to form a UNP one. On the Constitution, the two Sangha councils have given certain decisions. At times, we cannot speak against them. The chief prelates are currently abroad and upon their return, discussions will be held with the two Sangha councils and express the common stance. Chief Minister Vigneshwaran visited both temples and requested a federal system, citing such can thrive within a unitary state. At that moment, however, we said we cannot agree with it. Giving maximum power to provincial councils is the best as well as a dangerous thing. That will pose issues to the country's unitary status. I told Minister Kiriala recently that the Central Expressway is essential as the government should provide solutions to the people's issues and make it a reality. The Premier also addressed the event. We attempted to bring the Central Expressway project in 2003, but couldn't do it. We will do it. During the last parliamentary election, we got a mandate to prepare a new constitution. We're still working together, but not even a draft is prepared, let alone a constitution. We transformed the parliament into a constitutional assembly and requested a common document with their ideas. We have scheduled debates on the 30th and 31st of October and again on the 1st to discuss that document. At the moment, we are peacefully discussing this. The next question is how can we peacefully agree on this and we are not there yet. What we have to do is to establish a democratic government while safeguarding the unitary status of the country and the place of Buddhism while also considering and safeguarding the rights of the minorities. Don't harbour any doubt, since the President and I will not act on this without the consensus of the country.